Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Wherever you are, we are delighted that you are able to join us today for this Coffee Break catch-up, perhaps a Coffee Break catch-up with a little bit of a difference because it's it's definitely different times um, and uh, we are all making do with whatever we're able to do uh, today. I'm working from home like the rest of the Coffee Break team and I know that a lot of you are watching from home uh, given the, the current situation, but we're delighted to be able to spend some time with you today. Uh, we've got definitely a few little technical problems. Um, uh, we've had a few technical problems today trying to get this set up. Uh, everything obviously is working in a different way, so um, we hope that things go well. I can definitely see that some of you are posting uh, comments. It's great to see people on, on YouTube, um, but we're also live on a, a number of our Facebook pages too. So I guess that means that uh, hopefully wherever you are, you're able to post a comment and let us know where you are. In this uh, live broadcast, <laughs> obviously is live, therefore things can go wrong as ever, um, but we're hopefully going to be joined by Francesca in a little while. Uh, Francesca is looking forward to speaking to you all. And uh, we are also uh, perhaps going to have a special guest towards the end, but we'll need to make sure that the technology works well enough for that. So let's see where you all are. Um, let me see if I've got my cursor here to bring in some comments. Uh, so let's, oh my goodness, there's hundreds of comments already. Fantastic. So Linda is joining us from Connecticut. Um, let me just see if I can position these correctly on the screen. Linda, thank you for joining us today. Um, I, I should say that my sideburns aren't growing here. I've just got an earpiece in and it does look as a little, a little bit as if I've got sideburns. Um, Sandra joining us from Hampshire. Thank you for joining us. Myra is joining us from here in sunny Scotland. It's a beautiful day here today. Um, Marilyn is joining us uh, from isolation in North Carolina, uh, US. Uh, Melitza, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, good afternoon from Milan, Italy, learning Italian and Spanish. Fantastic. Thank you for joining us, Melitza. Uh, Margaret, hello from isolation in Texas, learning French, Swedish, Italian and German. Wow, uh, lots of languages there. Great to see you here. We've got Daniel joining us from Philadelphia. Um, I hope that one comes up. Let's see. There we go. Um, and uh, we've got Julio from the Dominican Republic. Um, I don't think that's one that's going to come up. I, we've got so many comments coming in here. It's fantastic to see you all. Sharon, who's learning Spanish. Great to see you, Sharon. Michael is joining us from North Carolina. Um, Sally's learning French in Nice in France. Florence is uh, joining us from Geneva. Um, we've got Sharon studying Italian, Flora joining us from North Berwick, <laughs> uh, we've got Keith in Wales, um, we've got Marta from Croatia, um, a few Facebook comments here too, so we've got Liz from Louisiana um, and uh, lots and lots more. Uh, we've got Elenaki from Athens, fantastic to have you here. Um, we've got Tim who is checking in from the USA, buongiorno, hello, hey. Fantastic. Uh, lots of you, lots of you joining us today. We've got Keith. We'll come back to Keith a little later. Great to see you here today, Keith. I'm delighted you could join us. It's very appropriate that you're here today because your uh, uh, Meet the Coffee Breaker article went out today on the website, I believe. If I've got that right, I'll get told otherwise by the team if I got that wrong. But I think your article went out today. Susanna joining us from Scotland. Uh, Karen from Netherlands. So many of you today. Um, Fantastic to see. Uh, we've got Euclides, Euclides, um, Euclides I'm not quite sure. Um, greetings from Berlin, learning German. Um, Gefters from America, trying to learn Icelandic since Ireland is such a great place. I definitely agree. Um, great to hear you, Mark Caroline from Harrogate and, uh, in North Yorkshire. Fantastic. There's just so many of you. It's lovely to see so many of you here uh, today. Hopefully we'll get back to some of uh, the comments a little later. Now, there are some important things that we have to share with you. There are obviously some some things we have to talk about, in a sense, um, and we'll be doing that in, in just a moment. Um, let us see, first of all, if we can bring in our special guest. And again, I hope that the, the technology works here, um, because if the technology works, there may be a delay on the audio, and we apologise for that, but if the technology works, we should be able to say hello to Francesca. Ciao, Francesca! Ciao Mark, come stai? Bene, e tu come stai? Abbastanza bene, grazie. Abbastanza bene, quite well, quite well. Francesca, uh, obviously you're at, at home as well. Are you yes. in Scotland or are you in Italy? 
Um, I'm in Scotland. I decided to stay in Scotland because in the current scenario, it was the best thing to do, probably. I... Sorry, I pressed the wrong button. Um, I know that uh, our, our listeners, we've already had many comments from our listeners um, saying that they, they hope that your family are, are okay in, in Italy. Is that is that the case? Thank you so much for all your comments. They're really, really appreciated. And yes, luckily, my, my family and my friends in Italy um, are all well at the moment and uh, um, I'm relieved to be able to say so but unfortunately not everyone sadly in Italy can can say the same thing so um, yes it's it's a tough moment for uh, for my country as everyone knows but um, I'm so proud to say that everyone in Italy is showing a, a great uh, a sense of responsibility and uh, civic responsibility. Uh, everyone is being amazing, and in particular, um, all our nurses and doctors in Italy who are working really flat out to to, uh, to make sure that um, everyone can be, can get better. They're really taking care of all our loved ones in Italy, and not just doctors and nurses, but all the other people who are putting their uh, their their own health uh, at risk to um, uh, to help the others the people who are keeping their shops open to make sure uh, that everyone has um, um, has enough food and children are being amazing they have to stay put uh, inside and they're doing so uh, in such a in such a lovely way and their parents are coming up with all possible ways to uh, to keep them busy so uh, that's amazing and yeah I think if I can say a big uh, uh, a big forza to everyone in Italy and in particular to the lovely people of Bergamo uh, a city that many of our listeners have visited I'm sure and Bergamo is going through uh, one of the toughest moments in its history uh, because of the terrible virus. So um, I want to join all the people of uh, of Bergamo and uh, tell them that all my thoughts uh, and uh, energy uh, are with them just now. Thank you. Thank you, Francesca. And, and likewise, the thoughts of the whole team are with everyone affected by the situation in, in Italy, in Spain, in France, all over the world. Um, one of the, the most special things perhaps that we've seen over the past few days is uh, the ways in which people in isolation have been keeping themselves busy. We've seen uh, singing, we've seen, uh, I've even seen people playing palace, um, the, the, the Spanish game of, of sort of tennis with bats um, out, out windows of, of uh, apartment blocks. And uh, th there's been bingo happening. There has been uh, singing, sing-alongs, as you know, and sports activities and everything. It's been wonderful to see the strength of, of people uh, at these times. There, there was one video that I saw and I would like to share this with you. Um, I, I know that many of you know that I am a huge ABBA fan and this was one of the, the videos that I saw um, about how things are, are in Madrid. So let me let me share this video with you just now. So that was just one of the, the, the many, many videos that we've seen. And I think the, the words, uh, the, the, the translation of the song Chiquitita in, in, in Spanish is, is lovely. Um, Las penas vienen y van y desaparecen. Uh, the uh, troubles come and go and then they disappear and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you, you smiling again and, and dancing again. So we're all looking forward to everybody smiling and, and dancing again. And uh, <laughs> What we are trying to do as a as a as a company um, over the past few days uh, is is look at ways in which we can help. Look at ways in which we can provide content that will help you um, keep busy and and keep your mind active and keep uh, your your learning going over this time. 
Obviously, when things are a little bit different, uh, when things are, are a bit difficult, um, it definitely makes it more complicated to, to do the normal day-to-day -day work that, that we do. And that's something that we've been looking at, trying to find ways to, to get through that, trying to find alternative ways um, to put together the content that you're used to listening to and that you're looking forward to. And I'll, I'll be coming back to that in, in a moment, uh, just to explain some of the, the, the ways in which we've been looking at that. Um, there have been so, so many comments, uh, so many lovely comments. Thank you for all of these comments. I don't think we're going to be able to put them all on, on the screen, but we'll definitely go through all of the comments uh, later on and, and respond and, and uh, share our best wishes with, with you. Um, what we did earlier today on uh, the Instagram uh, channel, we, we always put a question out on the Instagram, uh, on our Instagram account on a Thursday asking you a question. And today's question was a, a, a very important one, a, perhaps also a, a poignant one in the sense that we were asking uh, how you are, are coping with the situation, how you are planning to keep your language learning going um, at this time. So we've got a few answers to, to share with you. Um, Felipe said, I will keep studying German over Coffee Break Languages podcast I, like I've been doing since January. Um, 30 minutes a day pronouncing, listening, writing and searching for the correct words on the translator to make more examples. So great stuff, Felipe. Thank you for that. Uh, Tate Mike also said, of course, these are interesting times in every country in the world is covering this topic. It's a perfect opportunity to watch news or read news online from, from your target language country or countries. The topic is almost guaranteed to be predictable, so perhaps a chance to focus on picking up some new vocabulary uh, around this topic. And, and that, that's a, a great point, because if, if the vocabulary, if the stories that, that, that you're familiar with are uh, the, the same in multiple countries as they are at the moment, um, then the, you will be more used to that vocabulary. You can almost um, predict what you're, you're going to see. You can understand the, the content. It may make for, for more difficult, more challenging reading, of course, but definitely from a, a language learning perspective, a, a good idea. So thanks for, for uh, that suggestion. Hopefully some of these are, are giving you some ideas too. Um, so the bunny box said I just discovered Coffee Break Espanol on Spotify I'm on episode 20 so I have a couple more to go and ordered a book that focuses on the grammar so I got this quarantine time covered so thank you for that comment uh, we had Melitza who I think is watching live and Melitza said I'm keeping myself informed about the situation in Italy listening to the news and updates by medical professionals in Italian since I live here and I need to be aware of the situation and at the same time in contact with the language in this way, I'm expanding my medical vocabulary, which was very scarce before. Lots of love from Milan. Uh, well, we send also lots of love uh, to Milan and uh, hope that things are, are okay for you, Milita. Lizzie Gillespie said that I purchased Coffee Break German Season 2 in January and have only been able to do lessons occasionally. So one of my goals for this time period is to do the lessons regularly and work with supplementary vocabulary builders daily. Excellent, Lizzie. Uh, and one last comment here. Kathy said, I bought Coffee Break Spanish Season 1 yesterday. I'm finally going to learn Spanish. In addition, I'm still working on my French skills. That's brilliant, Kathy. Thank you for sharing that. Now, there's, there's lots more discussion on Instagram. So if you'd like to have your say and, and share your thoughts on, on Instagram, then please do uh, head to our Instagram uh, account, which is Coffee Break Languages. Just search for Coffee Break Languages over on Instagram and you can share your thoughts there or indeed share your thoughts in the comments here on uh, Facebook or on YouTube. Now, some of you mentioned that, that you're using your content while you're, you're uh, not able to get out and about and so on. And uh, that's something that we've been been working on uh, it's one of the first things that, that we did uh, to to address well, not to address the situation but to try to help in some way uh, with this current situation so um, one uh, one place if you like to to head um, is our, our special page that we've put together for free language resources for learning at home now this is a, a single page with lots and lots of resources on it and lots of these are intended for for school age learners Obviously, with schools closing and with schools already closed in many places, uh, one of the, the most difficult things is going to be providing content for younger learners to keep their learning going and to keep motivated in, in learning. So we've put together a, a whole list of content, um, including our High Five courses for younger learners um, on, uh, uh, on this page and also our One Minute Languages courses, short courses in a number of languages um, and uh, links to all our podcasts, all of the social content as well. 
and also other videos on our YouTube channel. Um, so you can find that and uh, the team can perhaps put this one link in the, the, the comments and that is radiolingua.com slash learn at home. So radiolingua.com slash learn at home. I should have prepared the, the, the link for that on the screen. I wonder even if I can do it while this is, let's see if we can do this um, while it's happening. Uh, radiolingua.com slash learn at home. There we go, the wonders of technology. Radiolingua.com slash learn at home. And that's that one page with all of the information that you need uh, to get access to, to lots and lots of our content. And all of it is free. So all of our free podcasts, all of the free uh, one minute languages courses on, on YouTube. And also, crucially, what we are doing at the moment, uh, specifically for uh, younger learners and families uh, who are trying to, to provide, uh, or not provide learning, but to help their, their, their children continue to learn, is making available our High Five course. So that's High Five French and Spanish. Uh, let me just bring this up. Uh, High Five French and Spanish. We are making access to that completely free for the next three months or indeed however long that needs to, to go on for. Um, so that's High Five French and Spanish completely free um, for the next three months uh, on uh, on that page. So again, if you are if you would like to find that, just head to radiolingua.com slash learn at home where you'll be able to, to access that. Um, I wonder, is, is Francesca still here? I think she is. Let me see. I'm looking over at the other screen there to see if she's still here. I'm still here. Uh, let me see if I can bring her back in. Here we are. Francesca, still <laughs> you're still here. Good to know. Um, you are, are also affected by, the, by, by this situation in, in that your, your other work, you work with us two days a week, but your other job um, also involves uh, using virtual means to, to work with your students, correct? Yes, because I teach Italian um, at one of the um, uh, universities here in Glasgow. So the university uh, also made the decision to um, to cancel all the face-to-face -face classes. So we we started on Monday trying to teach as at, at the best of our possibilities uh, uh, online. It is a, a challenge for everyone, um, but in, in these challenging times, we, in a sense, this is when people come together and this is when we, we find solutions for things. Indeed, I read, this may be wrong, it may be one of these fake news things, but I read the other day um, that uh, the, the theory of relativity was discovered uh, during, oh, sorry, wrong button, uh, was discovered during uh, a period of self-isolation. So who knows what can <laughs> can come out of this? Obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to be be flippant about this, but um, we we need to look at opportunities to, uh, to 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 use the time that we have uh, to do something useful, and obviously also to uh, to crucially to to be uh, to help people and to 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 be around for the people who who need us. Francesca, thank you very much indeed for joining us. I know you've got lots to do, so we'll say Thanks grazie me. mille, uh, arrivederci. Okay, ciao a tutti, stay safe everyone. Sorry Francesca, uh, I've just I've just remembered, don't go, don't go, we need you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've just remembered we forgot to do one thing, which we'll come to okay, in a moment. Yeah. Okay, We still need to talk about that new content. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll be back with Francesca in just a okay. moment. Okay. Obviously, one of the things that we wanted to, to do today is just update you on, on what's happening. Um, First of all, with, with our normal content, because there's lots of content that we're putting out. Obviously, we're putting out loads and loads of content on social media all the time. So every Monday, Wednesday and Friday on our Facebook pages uh, for uh, French, Spanish, Italian, Spanish, French, Spanish, Italian, German and Swedish at the moment. Um, so make sure you, you check out our Facebook pages if you're not already following us on, on Facebook. Um, we are also putting out content at the moment on uh, on our, our Swedish course and our Spanish courses. So um, let me just bring in back in my slides here because I think I've got the updates here. Um, so, yep, so our most recent episode from the Coffee Break Spanish magazine was El Encuentro de, os, de Dos Mundos. And this is uh, an episode all about the, the 12th of October, El 12 de Octubre, which is La Día de la Hispanidad. So this is the, the Day of Hispanidad. 
Hispanidad being everything to do with Hispanic culture all around the world. So that episode's already available and we've also got an episode going out tomorrow and uh, that episode is about um, carnival time in Santa Cruz, which is a, a town on the island of Tenerife. Obviously that was recorded long before uh, any of the current situation, so so bear that in mind as you, as you listen, um, but you can look forward to some new content there uh, tomorrow. Um, we are also continuing to publish our, our Swedish course. So uh, this week we published De Har Armin Ven. So this is my friend. Basically, this is an episode, a lesson all about introducing members of your family, your friends, the situation that you're often in when you're you're traveling in a in a foreign country and you're wanting to introduce the, the people and the the, the, the the people that you're traveling with, obviously in other times. And we'll all get the chance to to travel once more, uh, hopefully very soon. So that's the, the latest lesson of Swedish that is now available and you can access that uh, on uh, the website. Now, I mentioned earlier that we are continuing... Oh, there, yeah, we've also got Swedish notes that you can get in the Coffee Break Academy, so I'll, I'll skip through that just now. I mentioned earlier that we are continuing to uh, launch articles, uh, interviews with our, our community, and I know Keith's watching, so it's delight we're delighted to see that, and we're delighted to publish this article today um, where we're meeting the coffee breakers, and this is Keith, uh, one of our coffee breakers. You're all coffee breakers, so um, it's the, the, uh, an opportunity to, uh, to find out more about the ways in which people learn and share ideas and share strategies. Um, so you can uh, have a look at that on our website. Um, and uh, we are also continuing to publish Meet the Team articles. So this week we published, or last week rather, we published a Meet the Team article uh, about Ava, one of our production assistants. So it's good to be able to, to let you meet the team um, and also to give the team a, an opportunity to, to tell us a little bit about themselves. So lots of, of ongoing content, and I know that uh, you... Uh, I know that you're waiting for some things and I'll tell you a little more about them in a moment. But I did uh, hint at some uh, some ongoing Italian content and we're just going to talk a little bit about that in, in a moment. However, one thing I do want to say before that we, we get to that, um, just to explain a little how our recording process works. We record content all the time in our studio in Glasgow and that content is normally being recorded for a few months in advance. Sometimes we record uh, a few weeks in advance, depending on the particular project. And obviously everything that we do involves multiple people. It's not just the people who are actually in the recording booth. So if it's uh, for Italian, Francesca and me, also Silvia from time to time. And um, it's the other people involved as well. So people behind the scenes and people who help us put all that content together. At the moment, we can't get access to our studio. So um, lots of the, the planned content is on hold for now. Um, but what we have been doing is trying to work out ways in which we can continue to make content at the quality you expect and at the quality you deserve and, and at the quality we want to continue to create. So what we're trying to do at the moment is look at ways in which we can we can put together content, continue to make that content, but in ways that will involve virtual com communication and, and um, the idea will be that we'll, we'll be each recording our own parts in our own houses um, and uh, then we'll try to put them together afterwards. So first of all, we've got quite a lot to learn in the, in the sense of, of how we're going to put all this content together and try to, to make the, the, the current situation work for uh, what will make us al allow us to continue to create content in, in this current situation. But that's going to take a little bit of time for us to, to get in, in control of that and, and get used to doing that. So this means that some of uh, the content that was due to be published um, in in the, the, the coming weeks and, and months has to be put on hold. Some of the content we've got quite a few weeks in advance. So for example, with um, our Coffee Break Spanish magazine, we're continuing to publish that because um, we had a lot of that recorded. With Coffee Break Swedish, again, we'll continue to publish that. We had a lot of that recorded. All being well, we are still hoping to launch uh, our Coffee Break English for Spanish speakers next week. Um, for uh, that, So that's, again, we've got quite a number of episodes that of that recorded. Um, but there are some things that will suffer as a result of the, the current situation. And one of these, perhaps the one um, that, that many of you are waiting on, uh, that is La Vérité Éclate Toujours, our advanced course for uh, French learners. 
So, with La Verité Éclat Toujours, it's a very complex recording process and it's a little bit, in a sense, like a, like a soap opera in the sense that soap operas are ongoing recordings and, and they tend to record maybe two or three weeks in advance and we know that some of the, the soap operas have been put on hold at the moment. Um, so, just like that, with, with La Verité Éclat Toujours, we've got lots of content partly ready but we need to add bits and pieces to this content. So rather than launch now and uh, have to stop in maybe four or five weeks' time, we have decided to put a hold on La Vérité Cla Toujours until we are confident that we can get the rest of the first batch of materials ready. So we're looking probably at maybe one month, maybe six weeks or something like that. I don't want to, to be specific about uh, any particular dates. Obviously, at the moment, we can't be specific. But we're definitely looking at putting a, a hold on that uh, for now, just so that we can get all the materials ready. What it does mean is that when we do launch, then all those materials will be ready and we'll be able to um, continue with that uh, so that it's, it's regularly publishing. So we're really, really sorry to have to hold back on La Vérité Éclat Toujours for now. Um, I know that Pierre Benoit is gutted because he was really, really looking forward to, to the launch of uh, this, this new uh, course. But we think when you do uh, get start to, to listen to La Vérité Éclat Toujours, um, then we think that you're really going to enjoy it. So it's something to look forward to, and that will be coming uh, soon. Uh, we're just not able to give exact dates as to when that's coming quite yet. So that's French. Um, uh, there is uh, uh, Spanish content going out, Swedish content going out. And I did mention, and Francesca's patiently waiting here, I did mention about some Italian content. So, Francesca... Uh, puoi spiegarti quello che facciamo adesso? Sì, in italiano. Ah, come vuoi, forse in inglese. Ok, I think um, as everyone is uh, expecting, uh, we are working, well, we have been working for quite a few months now uh, on uh, producing material content for Coffee Break Italian 3. So um, it's definitely happening now. It, it is indeed. And, and Coffee Break Italian 3, um, we, we've been talking lots and lots about the different ways in which we could approach Coffee Break Italian 3. Um, and what we've decided to do um, is basically use as as real Italian as, as we can find. So conversations that are, are well, actually, I'll, I'll let Francesca explain because she's the one who's, who's writing this. <laughs> Yeah, as you said, Mark, uh, um, unlike season two, which was more focused on uh, the grammar, because at that stage we really needed to uh, to build on the, um, the listener's grammar, because now they have very strong foundations, so we can uh, add more vocabulary, more complex uh, structures, but now using uh, real-life situations, so mainly uh, conversations covering different topics, topics, uh, different scenarios, uh, a different uh, uh, amount of speakers uh, as well. So this is going to be a real challenge for, uh, for our listeners, but I'm sure it'll be enjoyable because they'll be able to, to realize how much they, they have learned so far because uh, uh, they will be able to engage in, um, in real life um, uh, situations. So I'm really, really uh, looking forward to uh, uh, to hearing our uh, listeners' uh, opinion, uh, hopefully um, in the near future, all being well. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, it would be it would be good to uh, to hear the, the reaction of our listeners to uh, to this news. But personally, I'm really really um, excited. Absolutely, likewise, and I, I know that we're, we're we're going to have a lot of fun um, getting the, the 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 content ready. And in normal in normal circumstances, that would be um, the the content getting the content ready in the studio, and and we'd be um, having our, our usual fun in the studio. However, at the moment, that's going to be a little bit different. We've got to to look at ways in which we can do that. So, as I explained, Francesca, um, well, we've we've sent Francesca some equipment, so Francesca is going to be setting up the equipment, and hopefully, we'll be able to to put the content together. Now, um, Coffee Break Italian Season 3 will not be launching next week or anything like that. There's going to be a few months before we, we will have that content ready, but just we wanted to let you know that it's definitely happening and that um, we definitely have some some new content on its way. 
we also um, have more content in the shape of the Coffee Break Italian magazine because we're we're also working on a new season of that. So that's probably going to come first. Um, the new magazine again, more cultural topics, more ciliegine sulla torta, um, and so that will come first. And then after that, um, we will be able to bring in the the new season three content. Now, there's a few other things to share with you, um, but we're going to let Francesca go. I'm sorry I kept you waiting so long for that piece of information, Francesca. It's okay. <laughs> um, but thank you, thank you for joining us. Don't disappear, we, everyone that's watching, because I'm just going to share some information about German. And then we've got another special guest to, to join us today. So um, thanks, Francesca. Grazie mille e ci vediamo dopo. Ciao a tutti. Grazie. Ciao. Okay, so I said that we were going to have some news about German now. And uh, for that, I'd like to bring in this little video. I think I've got it here because we're delighted to say that in the very near future, uh, we have got some new content to share with you on our YouTube channel because there's a second season, uh, a much more complex season, a more challenging season of Coffee Break German to go on its way. Hello and herzlich willkommen to einer weiteren Folge von Coffee Break German to go. Unsere heutige Frage lautet, was hast du gestern gemacht? Was wirst du diesen Sommer machen? Was ist ein typisch deutsches Gericht für dich? Welche ist deine Lieblingsstadt? Wenn du irgendwo hinfahren könntest auf der Welt, wohin würdest du fahren? Ah ja, okay, das war's für heute. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss. So there's new Coffee Break German to go content coming and you can hear those of you who are learning German, you can hear the, 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 the level of the language is definitely much more, more advanced than season one. Um, here we're talking about uh, what's your, your normal day like, what do you do during the course of a day, um, where would you, your ideal destination be to practice your German and all that kind of thing. So lots more videos filmed in, in sunny Berlin. Um, you are, uh, you can, you can look forward to that coming very soon. We we hope that that will be out next week at some point for the first episode of, of Coffee Break German to go. And there, likewise, there's more uh, content in other languages coming to on our YouTube channel. Now, uh, I'm trying to think through all the things I need to, to do. I know that we've got some questions, so let's look at the questions first. Um, uh, perhaps I'll just put this one up. So Monica is saying here, I'm sure that everyone understands that some things will be put on hold during the current situation. No need to apologise at all. I have to practice more in Italian season two, so that'll be ready for season three. Well done, everyone. Thank you. Stay safe. So thank you, Monica. Um, Gayathri is asking, will Masterclass participants get a certificate at the end of the course? Yes, you will. Uh, the certificates will be ready when this, the course is complete. Um, so uh, Dan is asking, do you have a CFR level in mind when you write content? So those of you who aren't familiar with the common European framework of reference, it goes from A1 to A2, then B1 to B2 and C1 to C2. Um, in the, with regard to the question, we don't say, OK, this is an A1 course and this will complete everything that you need to do in A1. Um, what we do say is that these courses are pitched around the, for example, uh, season three will be B1, B2 content, season three of Coffee Break Italian, uh, that will be B1, B2. The thing about CEFR is that it addresses all of the skills. So it's about talking and listening and reading and writing um, and, and about communicating in, in all of those ways. And with a course like ours, obviously you can listen and you can read and you can interact where we, we suggest you do translations in your head and all that kind of thing, but we can't assess you on your speaking, for example. So our content is, is written at that level, but it's not a specific A1 course or B2 course or anything like that. I hope that answers your question, Dan. Um, I'm just scrolling through to see if we've got any specific questions. It's so lovely to read all your content, your, your uh, comments here. Uh, Tivo is saying, is it true you're doing a Coffee Break English? I have friends who are interested. Any info is, info is greatly appreciated. So, yes, we are doing a Coffee Break English. Um, this initial Coffee Break English is a course produced in Spanish. So it's a Spanish for English learners. The, the course is presented in Spanish and uh, it's for English learners. So perhaps if you're a Spanish learner, you would be interested in listening to. But obviously, if you're an English learner, 
then uh, that will be presented in Spanish. We also have uh, in, in preparation, although again pushed back a little at the moment, uh, content for an intermediate level of English because we're producing a Coffee Break English magazine and that will be for all learners of English. It will be presented in English. So you can look forward to that um, and uh, share that with any learners who are interested in that. Um, so let's see... Um, just quickly reading through all these hundreds of comments. Thank you so much. Um, Ola uh, is saying, Ola from Glasgow. I'm com I completely stopped my language learning for a while and listening to you in lessons now brings me great comfort in this stressful time. Thank you so much for your work. Thank you, Ola. Um, that's a, a very, very kind comment. Uh, thank you. Um, so if any other questions here, uh, just having a quick look through we've got a dizzy ray is saying you have no idea how fun it for me it is to learn italian from a scottish accented person my mother language is spanish i'm from venezuela and you speak great spanish thank you <laughs> my dad is italian so i do know some italian i just want to learn it formally and you're great for that i do speak english because i live in the u.s in boston so thank you for sharing that with us dizzy ray um <laughs> monica is saying hey me then hey hey monica <laughs> um and Christine is saying, I've recommended High Five French to my daughter in Canada. Her daughter's school has closed down. Many thanks for your generous gesture. No problem at all. Again, uh, that uh, link that, that we are sharing there for anybody who wants to uh, get access to content to learn at home is radiolingua.com slash learn at home. Okay, so we've mentioned a few things. First of all, we've mentioned that Coffee Break Italian 3 is in somewhat delayed production but it is definitely in production francesca is very busy working on that um we've got new content coming in the shape of coffee break german to go on uh, youtube we've got other to go series to come on youtube and lots more video content that um we're, we're going to be putting up uh, very soon um we have got our coffee break english for spanish speakers coming our coffee break swedish is continuing coffee break magazine for spanish is continuing um we've got new content in preparation for for other languages and the other thing that I wanted to tell you about, and this is this is again a little bit up in the air at the moment, but we've been trying to come up with different types of content that will help you at this time. So content that you may find useful um, to to continue learning, but in a different way. So we've been very busy this week coming up with some ideas and, and getting everyone who's involved all all over the place because everyone's back at home and, and uh, working from home. Um, in fact, I just realised I forgot to share the photo of, of us all working from home. I wonder if I can do this. Let me see just if I can find this uh, quickly. Um, here we go. I think it's in here. Let me see. Yep, this is the one. So let me just bring my slides back in here. And I should be able to bring this in here. This was our team meeting this morning. Here we all are. And you can even see Marina and her baby Blanca joined us this morning. Um, so we're all working from home, having our coffee break from home. Um, and everyone is, I know everyone's doing the same. And that is, uh, everyone all over the world is having to, to work like this at the moment. Um, but as we're all elsewhere working on things, um, we are trying to bring these ideas together. So we'll hopefully will um, be able to come up with some new content for you, some completely different content that no one's ever heard before um, that is specifically for everyone right now. Um, and we, we think that you'll, you'll enjoy that. And hopefully it'll be the kind of thing that learners at different levels will be able to, um, to, to find out. Okay. Um, one final thing. One final thing. Actually, there's some more comments I need to share here. Um, so, uh, sorry about this. Um, okay. Um, Jordan saying, I, I love when you all sing on the podcasts. Mm. Hang on, uh, just a bit, another, another couple of minutes there. Um, Keith saying, well done, Mark, a great broadcast. Once again, Coffee Break is brimming with enthusiasm, a tonic in these troubled times. Thank you. Um, Malin is saying, I missed a few minutes, but full of hope, interpreting bits as an impending Coffee Break Italian season three. Yes, perfect good news to cheer up a stressful time. Um, 
So Hong Chao is saying, will there be any new content for CBF in addition to the season five? Well, again, that's just what I've, I've said. We are going to be um, working on, on uh, new content for all our languages to help you uh, at the moment. Uh, new Jersey Flooring is saying, hi, this is Alberto. Is that really you in the live stream? Well, I guess me reading this out says this. This is really me in the live stream. Um, and... Uh, Pam is asking, please tell us more about the English course in English. So this is, is coming down the line a bit. Again, it's in preparation, um, but similar to our Coffee Break French, Spanish, Italian and German magazines, which are audio courses um, made up of, of cultural texts. Um, this course is going to be uh, for intermediate English learners, B1 level. And uh, the texts will be about cultural topics from all around the English speaking world. And we have a, an expert English teacher who's going to be explaining the texts and, and giving further examples and exercises and so on. So that's the Coffee Break English magazine coming later in the year. Um, do, do, do. OK, so I think... Yeah, I think it is the time to, to bring in our, our other special guest. Um, and uh, we thought, uh, well, he, he wanted to, to share something with you. So let's hand us over, hand you over to, to Pierre Benoit. Bonjour à tous. Uh, eh oui, bah, c'est Pierre Benoit de Coffee Break French. Mais écoutez, je suis chez moi. Moi aussi, je suis, je suis cloîtré, uh, cloué. Et puis, j'ai pensé, tiens, pourquoi est-ce que je chanterais pas une petite chanson pour... Uh, pour, bah, pour faire plaisir à tout le monde, parce qu'on on est tous dans, le, dans, le, dans, le, dans, dans, dans la même galère, on va dire. Donc j'ai choisi une petite chanson sympa. Voilà, j'espère que ça vous plaira. Thank you to Pierre Benoit for sharing his song with us. And uh, there seems to be lots of enjoyment in the in the chat for that. So thank you. Thank you for that. And who knows, maybe we'll do another wee song at some point if, if that's something that you'd like. Um, I think I think that's where we're going to leave it. Um, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for your ongoing support of, of everything that we do. And uh, we will continue to support everything that you do in, in your language learning. Um, 
we hope that the the situation improves. We hope that whatever you're experiencing just now is is very much temporary, and uh, that you are able to take the opportunity to perhaps um, do some extra learning, do something new. Um, but equally, if you can get out, to get out to get a walk, to get some fresh air. Um, if you can't, then to spend some time reading, to spend some time singing, making music, doing whatever it is that you enjoy doing. Um, and obviously spending time with your loved ones um, as, as much as you possibly can. Um, thank you. And we will be back in touch very soon. We hope to do some more uh, of these lives, perhaps more regularly, um, if that is uh, something that you'd like. Um, let us know in the comments. But for now, I'm going to say thank you. And we will be back soon with you uh, for more coffee breaks. So as ever, happy coffee breaking and thank you.